All right, welcome to Right On with John Crane. And recently, I took a trip out to Monroe, Washington, out in the foothills here of the Cascades in Washington State, and I picked up a Kennedy tool chest, which you guys saw the restoration I did on that a couple of videos back there. And at the same time, uh, the same guy that sold me the tool chest there, he also sold me a couple chunks here of railroad track. And my thoughts on this are, is that I want a little anvil that I could use for doing leather work, you know, hammering uh, copper rivets and also like uh, letter punches and, uh, and hole punches for leather and that type of thing. So I thought these little chunks here would make a, a great little leather working anvil. I, I guess it could also be used for doing some light blacksmithing, but more of my purpose here is for leather work. So today's project is to take this little chunk of railroad track and turn it into an anvil. And I think to do that, I'm gonna take this over to the bandsaw, do some cutting. I'm also gonna do some cutting with a cutting torch, and I'm gonna throw this up on the Bridgeport mill and surface the top of this. So uh, let's get busy. Oh yeah, look at that, that looks great. I got this mapped out here with some soapstone, and I'm gonna go over and use the cutting torch and cut out this section right here, this right here, and then I'm gonna cut the horn right here. All right, this is looking more and more like the anvil that I want now for uh, that leather work in there. And I'm over at the bridge port and I got the three inch face mill in here. And I'm gonna start making some passes across the top of this here. I did grind off some of the mill scale there. Sometimes that can be real hard and wreak havoc on some cutters. So uh, let's start making some passes.
I'm just coming in with this half inch roughing end mill here and I'm just gonna touch up the sides here. All right, I just came in with the roughing end mill and then I cleaned that up with a carbide, uh, just regular flat mill there. And boy, all those sides cleaned up really nice. And now this edge of the anvil right here, I'm gonna come in with this round over bit here and uh, just this one side of the anvil, I'm gonna round that over and uh, that's useful. I feel to have one round side and one square side. Okay, now I'm just gonna come in with a small Pritchell hole right here in the back. All right, now I got this flipped over here and I'm just gonna put a hole in each corner so I can attach this. I'm just uh, working my way up in grits here, 60, 120, and then I'm gonna go to 320 on the polish here. I'm gonna do now is uh, put a little 
Johnson's paste wax on here just to protect this. And so I'm gonna rub this in on every surface of this here. All right, just a little shot with the heat gun here. Now I'm just gonna buff off this excess wax. All right, right on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this. I just went inside and cleaned up. I had soot all over me looking like uh, Dick Van Dyke there in uh, Mary Poppins as the chimney sweep. So, but I think this just came out uh, amazing here. I didn't expect to bring this to a, a mirror polish here on the horn or any of that. And uh, I had the buffing wheel set up here in the shop, you know, and you just get carried away and uh, start polishing this out. But I think it just came out great. And uh, even though this looks like a trophy, I'm gonna put it to some use. It's a tool here for the shop and I'm gonna be doing some leather work on it. And I think in my next video, I'm gonna be doing some uh, metal letter and stamp punching on this. And uh, so you guys will wanna tune in for that. So I'll be using this anvil here in the next video there. And uh, for those of you, uh, thinking that I didn't temper this. And for the most part, I'm gonna be using this anvil for soft metals like copper or aluminum, you know. This isn't uh, heavy duty here for some heavy forging or anything like that, you know. Uh, I could temper this and uh, make it real hard for that, but for uh, what I'm gonna use it for, it's uh, just fine, just like it is there. All right, I hope you guys are great and I'll see you all soon. Right on.